Finally, the Super Bowl halftime show is doing music for us young people. No more old stuff like Rolling Stones. They did Dr. Dre, Eminem, now Rihanna. For the young... Wait, I, I trimmed my beard and someone said I looked like I was in college. And it meant so much to me. This is not good. <laughs> this is not good. It's five head. I yep. Yeah, it's five head. Ah! Jake, let's do a fun little like content. What about a good boomerang? Everyone loves a good boomerang, uh, right? I don't know if people are really doing boomerangs much anymore. They do. No. They don't. No, what do they do? You, what? you ever heard of Be Real? Be, what do you be Be Real? Right? Yeah, what? Be Real. That's like the number one app right now. Be I I've never even heard of that. Who uses it? Uh, I, I think a lot of younger people. Oh no! I gotta download it. Uh, I texted my teenage cousin a thumbs up, and he said, "What's your deal? Is that, am I not supposed to you?" And then I sent him a bitmoji, and he blocked me. Oh, I don't know how to communicate anymore. Oh, what's up, y'all? Yeah, hey, you're looking swaggy, man. Swag. Yeah, I'm. Uh, why are we wearing, Why are we all wearing Crocs? You in the lake, or why are you laughing at me? Why, I'm really self-conscious that teenagers think I'm lame. What is happening to me? Guys, are we old? Oh. Uh. Not me. Speak for yourself. That's probably good. Probably roll the <laughs> intro music now then. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, intro me, yeah. let's roll music. You have a good episode. Correct opinions. Correct opinions. I'm just now hitting those fears of like, oh man, I gotta keep up with the times. And I just assume like my agent will be like, hey, this college wants to pay you to come perform. Like no one in college knows who I am. That's how I think. It's not true, but I'm thinking like these, wow, these college kids, they'll be like, who's this old loser? That's yeah, how I'm starting to think. Yeah, five years ago, you might have been like, great, I'll be there. And now it's mm -hmm. like, can you just vet, can you do like a like a straw poll? As kids are right. reading psychology, do they do they recognize my face? Can yeah. you get back to me with some data? I don't want to go there if they don't know me. It just feels like, it feels like yesterday I would have been like, yeah, let me do that and see if I can sneak into one of the date parties too. Maybe meet some people. And now I'm like, can I have a security team that films everything just so everyone knows I, I'm i not even trying to talk to these ladies because they're they could be my children. I could have fathered people they in college. Do the math. <laughs> 11 years older, 12 years older. Gotcha, gotcha. Uh, yep. Maybe not for me personally, I was a late bloomer, <laughs> but yeah. science by and large. Okay, yeah. You heard it here first. I could father a freshman in college. <laughs> Wow. It's going to be a good episode. This yeah, is. I can already tell. And we're back with another episode of Trey's Future and Past Romance. Um, <laughs> yeah. Arm touches, 12-year-old uh, pregnancies, all that mm -hmm. and more today. All that and more. Yeah. Uh, let's hear from some of our great, great recties. Thank you, fans. They sent in uh, some awesome videos. Send in your video submissions to our Instagram. Uh, we post some fun clips, all that. Correct Opinions Instagram. You'll find it. So uh, here we go. Hi everyone, hope you're doing well. Love the podcast and all your content. Keep it coming. Huge fan. Trey, I was at your Salt Lake City show. Absolutely loved it. Hey. Can't wait for you to come back. It was funny because um, at the meet and greet you met my husband and I. His name is Trevin and he was one of the names you made fun of in the podcast the next week. So I thought that was funny. Not a real Jake, name. Jake, congrats on the engagement. Super exciting. Thank and you. Katie, you're glowing. You're gorgeous. Oh, um, okay. Some of my pregnancy pet peeves were one, people touching my belly without asking beforehand. Thought that was weird. People straight up asking what the name was. I don't like telling people until the baby's actually born. And also people saying, you need to eat more. Your baby's going to be underweight if your belly isn't giant. Um, even when you're measuring on track for everything. So those are some of my pet peeves. What are some of yours? Bye. Thank you for sharing. I like that subtle flex there. She's like, one of my wor one of my least favorite parts of my pregnancy is like, everyone was like, you're so, so skinny. You're so skinny. And I was just like, oh, I hate it. The baby's healthy. I know I look tiny. Yeah, it was so annoying. <clears throat> have you been getting that, Katie? Um, No. And oh, wow. no one, no strangers have touched my belly yet. Just me. Hmm. And yeah, Katie, well, you're not a stranger. Well, yeah, that's what I'm saying. It's like, she'll let me touch it all day, but we're not strangers, mm. so it's not weird. Right. Mm, yeah, not weird. Nope. Mm. Nope. Um, okay, no one's telling you that you look like you need to gain weight? I mean, I've just had the kind of like, wow, you don't look that pregnant, or I can't believe you're pregnant. Or like, like, wow, you've been eating good, and you're like, mm -hmm. no, I'm pregnant. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Wow, I Katie's mean, hungry. It's just like the skit you did where the, I had that time period where I was like, 
I was kind of like, ooh, I'm, I don't look that pregnant. But then I kind of had this moment of like, maybe he's not growing r- well. <laughs> and then I started really growing and I'm like, wait, I prefer the other. Like, let's, you know, but he's are good. You, it's all good. Are you guys telling people, like she was saying, like, I don't want to tell anyone the name before it comes out. Are you doing the same thing? I'm We're telling people. Are, has that annoyed you at all? Because that is a very popular question. People yeah. immediately go, what's the name? What's the name? Fetus until it's out. Mm-hmm. Okay. And I like to, I like to treat Baby it like a prisoner. Baby number nine, too. three, six, five, <laughs> eight, two in this county of Jackson. <laughs> Are you, have you, has that bothered you? Um, I mean, I think cause of, we kind of have a name, but like not a set, what we're going to call them. So it's, you know, it's hard to explain, but it is kind of funny. Cause I feel like I wouldn't ask that. Maybe I have asked that question. I don't know if, if you have a name, you probably just go ahead and tell them, you know? Oh, you think it's a cop out? They don't have a name in mind. So like, I'm not, I'm not going to tell you. Okay. Mm-hmm. We're going to wait till it's out. I also I have no idea. I'm a little scared. <laughs> yeah. How uh, dare you ask me that? That's rude. Or some people. And we don't know. Do you have any good ideas though? <laughs> so we will wait. So they, they have like a couple names and they went and see the baby and they're like, oh, you, you look more like a. Oh, I would not trust myself to do that. You, like, mm-hmm. All right, between Samantha and Jenny, it comes out like, oh, let's name it Xerxes or something. Yeah. Like, Gosh. <laughs> oh my God. You see how she was r- carrying on and on? I think. I'm afraid to say this, but I think we need to name her Cinnamon. Because <laughs> they're... <laughs> I mean, look at her. <laughs> cinnamon? Cinnamon. Cinnamon. Like because she has kind of a glaze on her? You could say that. Like a cinnamon roll? Or... <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. What, I don't know. What's the, where, where are we going with uh, this Sheltered one? kid alert. Yeah. Sheltered kid. <laughs> I'm trying to fill in the blanks here. I have some pregnancy pet peeves. I know she didn't ask me. I have a few. Oh, I'd love to hear share. it. Yeah. Um, just a few days ago, I was pulling into Target. It was a very busy Target. Oklahoma City Target. could have been your home Target. I don't know. I was there two days ago. Mm-hmm. And uh, packed parking lot Saturday. And I was like, ooh, spot up front for expecting mothers. Katie. I've been looking for those parking <laughs> spots, and I don't know where they are. Yep. <laughs> Oklahoma City Target. Um, which they better clean up the, the legality of that a little bit. Expecting... Pretty vague. Nowadays, mother kind of vague. So I not long before anybody's parking there. Yeah, that is. It's why doesn't they? Why can't they just say pregnant women? <laughs> yeah, I don't know. It's like it, yeah, it's like expectant that's, see, that's mothers. That's very clear. Expectant mothers is very. I mean, I mean, I feel like my mom could get away with that. <laughs> She's a form of mother expecting, which I don't think would be right. There's uh, there's women who expect one day to be a mom. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Can so, Rachel park there? Yeah. Can any woman park there? I don't know. That's why it's my pet peeve. Yeah. <laughs> Agreed. Can't park at the front. I think we should key any car that parks there. If they Even if there's a pregnant woman in there. Yep. Just uh, wait outside the car. Come back. Are you pregnant? I, think, I can't tell. Yeah. You know, it's like the cart police. <laughs> yeah. You sit out there. You're like, uh, <laughs> you got a tape measure. Uh, okay. Yeah. yeah. You're pregnant enough. <laughs> yeah. I always hated coming out of sight of Target and Jake would be there grabbing my belly, trying to make sure. <laughs> yeah. Let's feel you're good. Kick. Let's feel it. Hey, make him kick. Mm. All right. What's right, his name, on. by the way? <laughs> Don't have one? Yeah. She didn't want to say the name because it was probably like something, you know, Trevin already gets made fun of enough. What are they going to name him? Mc- McKinley. Trevin's son. Trevin Lee. <laughs> Trevin Lee. I think if you're new rule, you know, I know I was anti-expectant mother parking, but I do think you should be able to like, um, like a video game where you can kind of layer like multipliers. If you were like disabled and pregnant, you get to park in the store. There's like yes. a special spot. You just get to park like in the grocery aisle. Right. If you fit both of those. And a veteran. I like that. Oh, oh my God. And a veteran? <laughs> yeah. A yeah, disabled yeah. pregnant veteran? Yes. You get to park Free wherever Starbucks you want. Starbucks in there <laughs> yeah. whenever you want. Yeah. Yeah. But back up your truck to the Starbucks. What about like, uh, if uh, what about, a, I mean, we, we can go on and on here. So okay. like ex- pregnant women get a parking spot. Disabled pregnant veterans. They you carry them in and give them free Starbucks whenever sure. they want. Sure. What if it's a pregnant, disabled, black Jewish veteran? Are they getting preferred parking spots? I don't they, go to these places. And they're trans. So let me bear with me. Pregnant, disabled veteran who's trans, Jewish, and black. Do they get a better? I mean. They now they own the, they get the store. Uh, yeah, I was gonna say they definitely get equity. I think. Yeah, I don't equity. know where they park, but they definitely have some uh-huh. stock in the company. Yeah, it's time to make a change, Target. 
<laughs> All right, let's go on to the next video. <laughs> Dude, I did see, I saw the funniest tweet. It just said, oh, dude, can you imagine right now? Like a, a black Jewish person is the most unstoppable person on the planet right now. Unstoppable? Mm -hmm. Yeah. I just thought it was funny. Shout out uh, Kanye. Shut your mouth. <laughs> Next video, please. Hey, everyone at Correct Opinions. Uh, love your guys' stuff. My name's Nate. What's up? Uh, my wife's name is Katie. So another check on the board to <laughs> yes! one of your wow. fans being married to a Katie. Of course. Uh, my wife, Katie, also fits many of the stereotypes that you do. So we love your stuff. However, two weeks in a row, you've talked about two different movies that we love. Number one being About Time. You talked mm. about that a couple weeks ago. Yes. And then this morning, you talked about um, the movie The Grinch, How the Grinch Stole Christmas with Jim Carrey. So funny story. I'm a youth pastor. One year we no showed way. How the Grinch Stole Christmas <laughs> at a Christmas movie night. Wholesome Christmas movie. Great movie, right? No, not. Not like what you'd think. Until that scene comes up with the party that you referenced. There are a number of adult jokes in there. It made for some very awkward tension move, uh, moments in the room. Very funny, though. I had some comments from some parents. But nonetheless, great Christmas movie. Uh, hilarious, though, still. Love your guys' stuff. Keep it up. Love Correct Opinions. Love all your content. Keep it up, guys. Love it. Thank you, brother. Uh, ooh, I love I love the idea of showing the Grinch uh, at a church event and then being like, turn it off right now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the angry parents were calling in like you showed the Grinch. Mm, interesting. Yeah. Yeah. Now my little now my little Trevin Lee wants to swing because he watched the Grinch. <laughs> now he's, he's asking a, he's a who's smart his boy. real dad. Yeah. He doesn't know. <laughs> I did see some comments that were trying to defend the people of Whoville. They're like, we don't know if it was a swingers party. Maybe they just didn't want to drink and drive. That's oh. Eggnog and drive. Oh. oh. Are, we, are, we, are we woke to that? Or which side are we on? I don't know. As he was sending that question, I Googled like the Grinch, like adult humor to see if anything's up there. And the first article says it confirmed the swingers party thing. Hmm. So. Sorry, folks. Well, I can tell you. Oh, I don't they were think driving. And they were driving stick shift the wrong way. Okay. <laughs> I was going to say that. Yeah, I'm really, I'm really <laughs> bombing here in the studio. Yeah, yeah. Part of it is I want to hear Katie's reaction without me getting in the way at all. <laughs> like, you're really, I think you're, by the end of this, you're going to be in a really deep, deep hole, I think. Mm. <laughs> With you goal? or my career? I, I don't know, really. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say, though, the cartoon Grinch is very, I'm pretty sure there are no, I don't think they do the bowl thing. That's a very like <laughs> safe option. We know. That's the one, <laughs> that's the one we watched growing up every uh, year. Oh, uh, that's, that is psycho behavior. It does anyone, Rectus, let us know in the comments if y'all ever heard of this, of where like, have you ever met anyone who's like, yeah, we watch The Grinch every year? It's like, oh my gosh, yes, Jim Carrey's the best. They're like, oh no, the cartoon. <laughs> the cartoon. It's my mom's favorite. Have you all ever met anyone? I've never heard that before. Is that a like? Do you uh, do you know other people who are doing that? No. Cool. Okay. <laughs> it's like being like, dude, I love I love that new album that came out. Like, yes, dude, it's my number one playlist. And like, oh, I I pop it in the CD player. No, no, I like the chopped and screwed version. Oh, no, they've upgraded it. It's, <laughs> it's been, it it's got nostalgic, updated. You got to download it. You know, to her. Just oh, like the Jim oh. Carrey one will probably be nostalgic to us when we are their age. You think, ooh, there'll be a new Grinch at some point. Yeah. They'll have uh, Harry Styles will do it a bit. Yep. And he'll get great parking at Target. <laughs> <laughs> kind of fits a lot of categories. Mm -hmm. Which I support. Good. I love Harry. I'm more, I think I'm envious of your mom that in this day and age where we are so distracted, we have all this entertainment, all this media, she still is like, you know what still gets me going is like the original Grinch cartoon. Like uh -huh. anything I try to watch from my childhood, it's still got to be decent for me to like, you know, like things like The Sandlot. Sure. I used to watch The Sandlot. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Home Alone. Yeah. I still watch Home Alone is still a good Christmas movie, but it, I, mean, I don't know. It's, right? it's kind of like my dad. It's like growing up, my dad was just determined to get me to love Lincoln Logs. <laughs> oh, <laughs> right? And he'd be playing with them. And I'd be like, yeah, yeah. Let's see how long you last with Lincoln Logs, dad. Because you seem to be pretty fired about the iPad. I don't, <laughs> I don't buy it anymore. I'm on, oh, what else? Tinker Toys? I, I mean, those were kind of fun. Do you remember? Do you have those? Yeah, where, where you like, it was just all the sticks and then... Sticks and the you, rounds. And yeah, you just, and you could build things. I mean, those are just, those were fading out. And my dad was determined, like, these are what I... Hey, back in my day, I'd come home. My dad was so proud that he was played pool a lot, like billiards. He's like, yeah, you're playing video games back home? I'd just come home from school and I'd just 
hit a stick against balls for hours. I'm like, yeah, have you played Call of Duty? <laughs> you, there's no, you did that for hours? Imagine what you would have done with this. Yeah. You wouldn't be employed <laughs> if you weren't entertained by that that much. So you didn't like Lincoln Logs that much? I mean, I think for the first few years, and then by the time I was six, I got an N64. Yeah. I, I liked Lincoln Logs for a little bit, but there's only so much you could do with them. And then next to it is like Legos. It's like, oh, I can do so much yep. with Legos. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. There's up the, Legos put Lincoln Logs out of business, man. Yeah. I didn't know Lincoln Logs had been around a while. I thought when my parents got that for me, it was like hot off the shelves. I thought this was a brand new thing. Well, like, maybe wow. where you lived. <laughs> yeah. Maybe. <laughs> Yeah, the Grinch cartoon had just come out. It took a while to get down, you know, get Your there, dad was so. just sanding, <laughs> sanding sticks in his workshop. Like, this should fit. Got your Lincoln Logs. Uh-huh. Yeah, I didn't know. Lincoln Logs, 100th anniversary kit. Whoa. That was the first thing that popped up. Oh, wow. So. The depression Logs is what those are. <laughs> They've the been around, yeah. These had tobacco in the middle. <laughs> Good for them. 100 years. I'm surprised they're that old. I put some on a registry, actually. Oh, fun. did you really? Yeah, I thought that'd be a fun toy for our little boy. What did we talk about this? You <laughs> for <read> Lincoln. You <laughs> <laughs> for Lincoln. Did you really? Thomas, we call him Lincoln. No. <laughs> oh, I'm an idiot. Oh, is that stupid? Yes. I mean, well, he, I told you, he. I expect him. I'm going to have him talking by about six months. Yeah. Is that when they talk? Get him a dictionary. Uh huh. Yep. It's by six months. Yep. Mm -hmm. How many times do you register in life for things that you don't want to pay for? You do it once at the wedding. I don't think I knew about the baby Ugh. registry. Taxes every quarter. Is there, okay, if you pay your taxes quarterly, you get the register for something. <laughs> is there a third event that I don't know about? Funeral registry? registry? Graduation? Is that a Graduation? Thing? Graduation? Yeah, maybe they'll start doing that. I'm actually surprised they haven't started that trend. Yeah. Oh, it's I bet it's coming. Graduation, yeah. what, marriage, pregnancy? I got sent a uh, cash app from graduation card. Yeah, so so th that is step one. They'll start doing registry. They just throw the QR code on the back of the announcement. Mm -hmm. Man. Uh, what, what uh, is there divorce registries? I mean, yeah, you need stuff. If you right? split, then only one person is getting the dishes. Who Whoa, the other business person business opportunity. She took the forks, so yeah. I'm going to need. <laughs> what can you do? <laughs> I do have, sp do not get me spoons. I have all the spoons. <laughs> I need a fork set. Yeah. Well, uh, Maybe if someone wants to be the big spoon, that's what she always was. <laughs> I know. We liked it that way. Um, yeah. I'd like 12 forks and one huge spoon. <laughs> Please. Four nights a week. <laughs> <laughs> I travel for work. Yeah. That's what got me into this mess. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Divorce registry. Good idea. Good idea, Katie. What would you put on yours? <laughs> God forbid. <laughs> couple of these college girls keep touching Trey's arm. I mean, start thinking yep, about it. Yeah, I got people touching my belly. <laughs> I don't mind. <laughs> then maybe she a bat. Touch that. Or <laughs> <laughs> oh, jokes, jokes. Uh, okay, we got uh, one more video from a great fan. Talk to us. Hey, Jake, Trey, and Katie, um, and Derek. Don't forget Derek. Derek, oh, appreciate it. Uh, Shout enjoy out. the podcast. I'm a truck driver, so. Uh, I always look forward to it. Uh, very, it's very entertaining for me while I'm driving. And uh, also, I love all the golf contents coming out. Mood swings is, is really good. It's, it's hilarious as well. And that's kind of on the line uh, what my uh, question is about today. Um, I'm, I'm, I play golf as well. I enjoy it. Um, and this happened to me a few weeks back. just need Jake's input on, um, on, on this situation. So we're playing uh, two-man scramble. Uh, there's three groups in, in our, or th three teams in our group, and one of the teams, the, their two brothers, one of the guys, he's got a uh, word drive on our hands on a par five, like almost 400 yards. Like it, it was, it was a very long drive, um, and I'm not exaggerating. Like it was almost 400 yards. We finish at par five, and we start heading to the next hole. And my partner looks at me and he says, and this is this is what I'm needing Jake to uh, kind of clear up for me. Um, I just want to hear Jake's opinion on this. But my partner looks at me and he says, you know, I don't normally cuss, but that was a freaking long drive. Hell. <laughs> and I just kind of chuckled because <laughs> in my mind I'm thinking, I think, I think Jake could analyze this and tell me if he's a sheltered kid or not. But I think I know the answer, but I want to hear uh, Jake's opinion. That word may not even be allowed in the sheltered household. <laughs> um, but anyway, I just want to... Just want to uh, hear what Jake has to say. Appreciate the podcast. Keep the golf content coming. I'll be here watching and listening. Thank you. Thank you. That was cool. Did he do that from his truck? 
That looks, looks like it. Couldn't tell if it was a Mac or Peterbilt. You know? <laughs> yeah, right. Oh, yeah, I think he was driving it, though, while he did it. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Autopilot. Uh, that's great. Great question. Can it you weigh in like for that us? that guy was being genuine, too. Like, guys, I don't normally... Don't let this get back to the missus. <laughs> if my mom heard this, she'd kill me, but... But that was that was freaking amazing. <laughs> <laughs> that is so funny. I mean, yeah, from a once sheltered kid, uh, that's that's a big F word. Um, that we, don't, we don't go around just saying. We don't take it lightly. I remember freshman year of college... Is this uh, is this episode still going to monetize? We would might have to. Derek might get the bleep button now. Okay, okay. so um, kind of a minute twelve or so. If we have any like Amish brands, maybe rolling ads, <laughs> they're going to let them it. know. Mm-hmm. It's not friendly. Uh, when I finally got to college, uh, the Christian university that I went to, uh, we're doing a little uh, chapel session. We're doing a. They're playing some worship, and there was some song. Maybe you've like heard this before. I don't know if it's still like being thrown around, but. Uh, one of the parts of the chorus is like, so dun da dun da dun da so scream your freaking lungs out. And I was like, whoa, <laughs> okay. <laughs> this is what they warned me about college. <laughs> yeah. I didn't, okay. Uh, step one, call my mom. Step two, uh, talk to my advisor. Uh, step three, maybe just not, just no longer enroll in this school. Mm-hmm. So I, that can be a very big word for people, um, especially if you're not, not used to saying it, not used to hearing it. Uh, all that to say, that guy definitely has worked for Chick Fil A before. Um, whoever you're playing golf with, and um, what else is about his character? Uh, I think you can make a lot of golf jokes with him, and he's gonna have no clue you're even joking. So just mm-hmm. be careful. Be careful, yeah. Uh, but uh, sounds like he's got a heck of a swing, <laughs> and you know he loves his mom. Yeah. I do have a question: Is it freaking or is it fricking? You know? Oh, well, hey, watch your mouth. Yeah. yeah. I think like th- which one is the worse version? Here's the hierarchy. PG, freaking. Yeah, okay. PG-13, frick or frickin'. Oh, yeah. Rated R? I don't even want to say it. Probably shitting on this. Okay. Mm-hmm. F F R I G G I N. Oh, mm-hmm. okay, okay. <sighs> don't get, yeah. Uh, I might need to bleep that, too. Yeah. yeah I don't know. Okay. That's yeah, not, that's it, real. It does that's not real. sit well with Most me. Most people that listen to this can spell. <laughs> <laughs> Katie's like, I got bad news for you, Jake. <laughs> they know exactly what you just said. You spelled it, idiot. <laughs> oh, that's Katie's great. like, Jake, don't. You just spelled it for no. them. Now they know what it is. Spell it. Yeah, the frick. I'm glad to know that the um, the order there. Yep. That's how I put it. Um, no, that's spot on. I agree. Okay. That's great. Yeah. Also, funny. It's like as soon as he started talking about golf, I mean, I blanked out. <laughs> oh. I mean, I, <laughs> it was like, a funny little bit. There. He's like, we were doing a two man scramble with three of us. Four of them were brothers. Uh, and one of them the says scramble, to me, I he hit like, 400 out. yards. <laughs> it was crazy. I was like, oh, wait. I need to <clears throat> when he said he had a question for Jake, I was like, this is going to be a math problem. It's going to be like, so if Sally plays with Billy and Billy yeah. never plays with Rodney, yeah, how many days a week can Sally still play with Steve? Yeah. And hit it 300 yards. Yeah. That was funny. Well, thank y'all. Again, send in your videos to the Instagram. Uh, y'all the best. It's very fun. And we got a lot to talk about. We've got Katie uh, just had a... We've been knocking out baby showers, speaking of registries and all that, all the events. And I... I'd assume you as well, Jake. I don't want to I don't want to type you, but I am not familiar with all, what all you need for babies. I assume maybe you might. He seems like but. someone who would. Yeah, um, um, crib. Yes. Okay. Let's try like the five things you need the most. Okay, One I'm gonna try to actually think of this. All right. Can... Crib, diapers, um, b- bottles slash way to get milk in the bottles. Yeah, you can say it. I don't know what to say. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not trying to be funny at all right now. I'm trying to like legitimately give an answer. I don't know what it would be like a a, b- a, a breast to bottle transfer like a f- uh, funnel. Mm-hmm. Or, this is yeah, funnel. this is good material. Like right a, here. Ma- a mama funnel, <laughs> like a trough. Yeah, like a like yeah, <laughs> yeah. like a siphon. Like you kind of get it going, and then you put and it then... in the bottle. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Something like okay, okay so, that's, so, so you like actually that. have to. You know how like so you to get the soda out of the fountain. So you, we actually you have to get like a CO two subscription, <laughs> and that powers it. Katie kind of. <laughs> 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 it all goes out. 
it's fizzy. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Kind of froths it. <laughs> yep. Nature's That's, frother. A lot of people are really going to enjoy that. What you just said. Okay. Three. What else? Two more. You're I think that it. was three. What else is a baby? I mean, uh, ooh, just let's close. Clothes slash sleeper. Mm-hmm. There That's you go, four. There you go. Thinking about the, you know, mm-hmm. half its life. And then fifth thing, what did I say? Did I, I said food already, right? That's no milk that's what milk is oh yeah right, 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 right. <laughs> knew that knew that i was like no that's just the baby gets thirsty um jake's gonna meet our like two month old and he's gonna try to feed it like steak yeah like, do you want some okay is it not cooked how you like it okay. yeah <laughs> um fifth thing i mean does he like it rare I, I think it's a trick question i think you only need four things i think i'm, I'm gonna end the, end the list there you don't need anything yeah. else Maybe a roof it's, over his head. It's crazy that I, you know, we have to make a registry for four things. I think that's it. I mean, I mean people should just know those four things. Those are the big things, right? And then, okay, things. pacifier, cute little Jordans, um, bonnet, mm-hmm. uh, I don't know, yeah. iPad. Oh, you need an iPad. iPad, yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Subscription to the iPad, yeah. Coco Melon, I don't know. Patreon. How'd, how'd I do? Was that okay? That was, that was pretty good. Okay. Um. Yeah, that was pretty good. I think those are... The necessary ones. I had to miss something big. Well, the word you're looking for is boobluge. <laughs> what? I knew I'd heard it before. Mm-hmm. <laughs> that, <just couldn't, laughs> that, that was is... a Kickstarter. I couldn't recall it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I think um, that's the right term. Or is that the street term? I think that's just the street term. Oh. Yeah. Well, um, Google it. Did you get a bunch of good stuff? Did you I, get any like gross stuff? What is your definition of gross stuff for a baby? Well, we were at one shower, and it's amazing the men who aren't parents yet, or women, probably a little. Just clue, like you opened some gift, and it was something to do with um, your bosom. And several women were like, oh, that's a lifesaver. I mean, Mm -hmm. several guys were like, am I even allowed to like watch this? (laughs) I don't know what it was. So that's a gross item. Okay. I mean, kind of. I mean, just like. It's a very personal item. They're just like, here, here's a. Certain blanket that um, doesn't retain smell, you're gonna need it. Oh. Just stuff like that. Okay, well that's doesn't exist. They're like but it's made of artificial <laughs> turf. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> installed dark carpet. It's plastic. <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah, I mean I got some um, aftercare items that are necessary. Pause. Tray. <laughs> translate. <laughs> aftercare. That's I a don't scary know. word. That <laughs> Somebody like, like, tell me what's going on. That sounds on. like when there's like an apocalypse and then the earth <laughs> kind of settles. There's like there were seven people left. <laughs> a man and his dog <laughs> in charge of the aftercare. They're trying to channel into radio waves. <laughs> like, how does this work? Aftercare. Aftercare sounds like something I would I would need Sandra Bullock for, and I would need I would want to be blindfolded. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Dude, probably I want, would want to. Be, I want Denzel to memorize it all <laughs> and take it across the country. And never tell me about it. <laughs> Derek, you've had kids. You know what I'm talking about. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I was out with a business lunch one time eating, and they were talking about this. And, oh, wow. Yeah, no. so. so you got the, like, it's the lowdown from people you didn't want to know about. <laughs> Chatting aftercare okay. with the boys. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so I can't wait to show you all those things I got. Um, and <laughs> aftercare. Yeah, I don't even know what part of. Oh, well, whatever. You can keep going. Like, Were you gonna say you don't know what part of the body it's well, for? <laughs> a little bit. Yeah, I, a little I, bit. Maybe it was. I Just think judge free zone. I think I know what it is, but also it seems like a lot of what you're getting is more. Is it from just top. like zip ties? <laughs> <laughs> like a staple gun? Yeah. Is it like <laughs> Elmer's? It might get warmer or colder. Warmer or colder. <laughs> yep. And pretty, yeah. Pretty cold. <laughs> um, like a bracket? <laughs> like a ratchet strap or something? Uh-huh. Is it a ratchet strap? Gotta be getting close. Yeah. Ratchet strap the womb? Mm-hmm. Yep. Those are all, like, it's pretty similar items what I got, yeah. Bungee cord. Yeah. You forgot, like, the duct tape and, like, the, <laughs> yeah. Uh-huh. You keep talking. I'm going to be thinking. Okay. Well, I don't care. People touching um, your belly? Um, not really. I must give a really like standoffish vibe. No one really touches my belly. <laughs> <laughs> That's probably a good thing. Uh, yeah. And then what are the people? Any cheapskates? Who who got the cheapest? Who brought the cheapest gift there? The say, cheapest, say his or her name. Say their first know. and last name. Everyone was very generous. No one, no one brought a cheap gift. It was, all, it was all nice. Expensive aftercare. Because I registered for really nice things. Oh, yeah. Because I registered for all of it. Yeah. 
<laughs> yeah, that is the that is the funny thing of like when people are like, I I couldn't get a gift receipt, so I, you know, I, I had to put the real receipt in there and it shows the price. And I'm like, well, I registered for it. I know exactly how much it is. <laughs> <laughs> so it's that's okay. fair. It's yeah. okay. That has put a little pressure on these days. The whole the gift giving used to be, you know, you don't really know what I spent on this, and so let's yeah. keep it that way. Mm-hmm. Now they can they got receipts. I we went uh, to my worst fear happened finally. Me and a few buddies we went uh, we went out to like a bar to watch some football. We were there for a number of hours. We're like, all right, we're done. And I had this, my buddy kind of like paid out the tab and he tipped. And tipping bartenders is sometimes tricky, especially when they're just handing you like a can of beer. Okay. Like what is what's the tip here? I don't know. But anyway, totally. my buddy did this. He may have under tipped a little, but he tipped, you know, whatever he did. And she just runs over. She's like, Are you serious? Oh wow. Just confronted him like that? And yeah. And I was like, What's happening? She's like, Is this seriously it? And then he was kind of like, Oh, I don't and then immediately like some of us, someone just threw out like a little cash and she but she like wasn't letting it go. She's like, I thought we were like because we were kind of up by the bar and she was like trying to do a friendly thing. As in like a flirty thing? No, I mean, she recognized me, but then she mm-hmm. started to do like a weird recognize me where she was like initially like, oh, hey, you're him. Da, da, da. I didn't know you're from the area. Well, yeah, 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 yeah. And then she'd come over. She's like, I just texted my friends like Trey's here. And they're like, and all my friends were like, who's that? And I was telling them like, you've like, like his videos, I've seen his videos. And my friends were like, my friends are straight up. It's so funny. They just like had no idea who you were. <coughs> like, oh, cool. Well, Thank and you. And I'm just like, <laughs> what's the point of this <laughs> conversation? And, was, and then I started to do kind of like a uh-huh, leave, kind of very shortly. Like, okay, let me leave, leave us alone now. We're just trying to. And I think she herself was like very intoxicated. Oh. It's like a very divey bar. So I think yeah. out throughout the night she was partying. And then so she's doing kind of a drunk girl. Like, I thought we were like heading it off. <laughs> I thought. Like why? And she was like going down to uh, our friend's wife was there. She was one girl amongst like seven guys. And she was like locking in on her. She had nothing to do with it. She's like, do you understand? Like, I don't know. I just thought we were like, I was being cool. And she, she was like, awesome. <laughs> oh, and the best part was we were doing a silly like uh, sports, sports betting. And it was like this as simple as like, will this team score on this drive? Fun. So we're just. Just a total coin flip, and we just go to her. We just go score, no score, no context. Score, no score, score, no score. And she's of course she's like what, what, We're like score, no score. And she goes, uh, no score because I have a boyfriend. Bingo. Oh. <clears throat> and so we're like, oh wait, that's not what. And and we try to move on. She goes, but like if I didn't have a boyfriend, probably score. <laughs> and we just like, never mind, <laughs> never mind. Do people approach women in that way? Score, no score. <laughs> Do we, was yeah, that? I was in the buy, I mean, bag of tricks back in the day. <laughs> score, no score. What? What? Score, no score. Can I score? Can I not? Uh, uh, I mean, yes. I would not. That is not where my mind would go. I mean, I why know. would I? And then she turned around to my buddies. I was like, did she think we were? They're like, yeah, I think so. I was like, okay, well, let's wrap it up here. Hey, toots. <laughs> Touchdown or field goal? You know what yeah, I mean? Yeah. <laughs> What's it gonna be? Me and you tonight. What are the odds we hit the uprights? <laughs> I mean, I really Wait, hope what? she's not being talked to that way. But and then we ended the night with her running outside as we were about to leave, going, "Can I get a photo? My friends would love this." And I was just like, "This is a this has been a roller coaster experience." I would like to yeah. use really specific football terminology with a woman. Hey, what do you say if things go well? I uh, pin you deep within the five yard line on a punt. Like, what? What? What do you say onside in the third quarter when you don't see it coming? I would <laughs> That's run what away. what I thought. I would <laughs> run away. <laughs> what do you say when the coin toss in overtime? <laughs> I would. I'd run away for multiple reasons. I don't want to talk about football. I don't want that to happen to me. I don't want to. <laughs> what do you say we make a little halftime adjustment and make sure we get two feet down? <laughs> More men in the box. <laughs> Protect the run. That's enough. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I could do that all day long. That's so funny. It's really <laughs> obscure. We've been <laughs> plugging up the B gap all night long. I have no football idea what guys. you guys are saying. <laughs> yeah. No, trust me. Everyone's impressed. We know so many football terms. <laughs> the truck driver listeners out there, they're yeah. loving it. Yeah, the, all our truck driver listeners we love. But which is dude, truck driver has aged really well. It was already a pretty good gig, and now you're just like I mean, about, now he has podcast. Before you had to get by with just, I mean, another Garth Brooks album. You've listened oh, to this already. Yeah. I mean, a truck driver, you're just a professional <clears throat> podcast listener. 
Basically, Not bad. I mean, you're probably very up to date with at least two true crime podcasts, yep. your favorite sports podcast, and like you could throw in an audio book too if you want to. Like you can really be well versed. He, I guarantee you, truck driver, they're probably they're listening to a political podcast. Both sides, they've got the time. And yep, only truck drivers should vote. Yes, <laughs> you took the words out of my Did mouth. Did I take it too far? Or did I take it just right? Just right. <laughs> they are the only, only one. truck drivers should vote. <laughs> they're the most informed people in this country. They have to be. Wow. As we say that, I just got a text. They must think I, I'm a truck driver because it's a it's a political text. They want you to vote. I'm going to reply to them and say, <laughs> sorry, don't drive a truck. In real time, like the FBI is like, stop this conversation <laughs> now. <laughs> it did kind of catch me off guard. It's like Mike Kelly doesn't play political games. They His record this out. Terms, yeah. <laughs> That's one day one of us will be president. You know how Trump kind of came in and blew everyone away? Like he tapped did, into this weird thing. It'd be like Jake Trump is president. And he's just people are like this crazy guy's running independent. Just just. He's lobbying to truck drivers. There's more we than you think. Oh my God, he's president. <laughs> and he he gets so his shipments are always on time. That's my thing. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah Great. That's my thing. You heard it here first. Uh, ooh, Katie, I want to hear your thoughts on this. Heidi Klum. I think we talked about her recently. I don't know. Mm -hmm. She uh, was a giant earthworm for Halloween. Mm -hmm. I mean, a state of the art worm. Gotta Google this. State of the art for sure. What was your, what was your gut reaction to that? Um, why? Oh, okay. Interesting. Mm -hmm. I feel like some people are like, oh, yes, girl, you're like this supermodel, but you can be like funny and gross. Oh, you didn't wow. Like but, right? Yeah. <laughs> but I, why? It's a, why? for those just listening, I mean, it's like, look it up, Google it. She's fully enveloped in like a, you it, can barely tell it's a human. In yeah. There. It would be like if a, if a NFL team was for some like the Tampa Bay Worms and like you were just fully. The like a worm. Right. I don't know if it was, yeah, if it was like the Green Bay Goblins, and Jake was just, <laughs> he appeared. I mean, like that convinced. I mean, it, oh, is, wow. it is truly state of the art. Like, it is it is a <laughs> work of art. <laughs> Did you watch the video or just look at the picture? I'm only looking at pictures. Right that, the video of her like moving around yeah. on the ground and stuff? Yeah, I, I saw that. I can't do it. Dude, well, we had to dissect worms one time, and it just sickened me. That's, oh, yikes. We never had to dissect animals. Really? Thank goodness. Stopped I worms. love dissection. I was a great dissector. I should have been a surgeon. Def Jeffrey Dahmer loved dissecting. Mm, different. And I mean that that sounded. <laughs> I mean, well, I meant in his at school he loved doing that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I wasn't <laughs> making a joke. Part of the, but I guess he did like it. Documentary he the whole that. time, but he that was part of the signs. Mm. Well, is that he was like, can I take home an extra? You watch I'm dead out. serious. And there, he, the teacher was like, yeah, I guess he's very passionate about this. But it was like, got to be careful. That's actually a, uh, we're, we're not going we to go down the serial killer path again. But a ton of serial killers, it's like this, when they were 10, they were like murdering animals. Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's like a sign of a that, sadist. Mm -hmm. Makes sense. Right. They like at that young age, are like, let me kill something. I mean, yeah. I think it's an early sign of like no um, like empathy. Yeah. Mm -hmm. like a lack of emotion. Yeah. Rachel's got a, a kid who is at one of the schools she's been subbing for. And it's like well known amongst the teachers like, oh, yeah, so and so. Yeah, he doesn't have any empathy. So kind of watch out. <laughs> and Rachel's like, OK, uh, <laughs> you can do gosh. whatever you want. She said yeah. it's very fascinating. Like, luckily, he's nine. So she doesn't feel like threatened. But she said it is it is wild to see just like a nine year old behave in a way that is just so different than other nine year olds. He'll like steal stuff and then be like. I, I don't want to steal the books from the library, but I feel like I have to. It's like, that's not going to manifest itself well. No, not at all. Later in life. So hopefully you can get some help. But yeah, Rachel yeah. Is, is trying her best, but mm. it's fascinating. Wow. Well, back to the worm. <laughs> <laughs> all right, Katie, talk about the worm. I mean, oh, yeah, watch this. So yeah, she is known for her like really like great Halloween costume. She's known for that. Well, I saw the oh. backdrop of that photo. It looked like it was a, a red carpet thing, but the backdrop said Heidi Klum Halloween. So does she hold her own event? Maybe. Okay. Maybe. I don't know. But she's like known for this. Like she goes all out. And I, I just, I haven't heard the explanation behind the worm. I don't really. <laughs> I kind of like it. It's, I don't know. What have been her past costumes? Uh, yeah. Do you know? You know? Mm, no, not That's an interesting thing to be. She's to be yeah. Your thing. She's known for it. You know, she f hires these like you know really impressive like artists and makeup artists. Oh, oh my gosh, look, she looks look. like an intestine. Oh, I know. She looks like a large intestine. It's literally moist. I have never done an interview like this before, Heidi. How are you, honey? I'm 
amazing. How are you guys? Oh my god. It looks really gross. Did you say I've been caramelized? You and Tom oh! Oh! Fishing trip to come up with this wild idea. You know oh, what they oh. say? Is that her husband? Yes. Her husband's Jack Sparrow? My husband, you know, no. I'm the Who was it? Who was that? I don't know. We're going fishing. How many months does this take to get you in this? Oh my, you're even slimy! Well, what was amazing for me today didn't take me so long, but to make the costume took a very long time. I'm getting claustrophobic uh, looking at this. <laughs> a few months, you know. Oh, I did. All right, we're good. Yeah, what is I, she do? Her nose itches? What does she do? She that can't I move her arms. I, I am getting, I'm getting a little sweaty oh, thinking about it. There's no doubt. 30 minutes into that party, I'd be vibing, and then I'd be like, Give me out! Give me out! Seriously, though, she can't even move her face? I mean, I would be full freak out. She's in a baby sleeper, is what she is. She registered for one. <laughs> yeah, that's exactly. We we actually haven't gotten the worm one, so if you could like get on and maybe get that for us. i get you a nice one. Yeah. Okay, this is pretty great. I guess she was like Fiona from Shrek one year, so she's like fully green. And yeah, one year she was just like, you know, like a uh, a, a photo of like the muscular system of a body. Yeah, it was, oh, yeah. It was like doctor's mm -hmm. office. She was. She was just that. <laughs> she recycled it. She was like I said, she was a large intestine just now. Yeah. I guess that's a good way for her to like just get in the news like once a year. Yeah. She's for sure. Whoa. That okay. Yeah. Just saw something new on the TV. <laughs> Whoa. Uh yeah okay. Just any, it would be kind of fun to show up to a party like that. Just going for it. Just out of nowhere. 20 grand. I was going to say, yeah, thousands. Of Hollywood's finest makeup artist. Of dollars, yes. Gosh. Heidi Klum. What's her thing? Why do I know her name? Like, who is that? She used to judge America's Next Top Model. Oh. I mean, no, no, wrong person. So sorry. You could have told me anything. Um, The designer show. Now I can't think of it. Project Runway. Project Runway. Oh. She's a, she was a model. But she was, she, yeah, she was a very, she was a famous model before that and then she hosted Project Runway and. That was just a weird way. Was, like if was someone was like explain to... Katy Perry to me, you'd, she, you'd be like, judge on American Idol three seasons. Oh, cool. You would say. Uh-huh. Well, <laughs> Chart topping really, singer. Well, I don't know. He was a sheltered boy. I didn't, he, he, as if he would know the models that oh, were famous steps, back in the Yeah, I, mean, I don't know the word model. What does that mean? Yeah, I mean like a model train set. I tried, I, know to go that. The, I tried to go the Jake route. I mean, oh, you're a trainee too? <laughs> um, she used to be married to Seal, the singer. Oh, really? Uh-huh. Oh, that. Oh, they're not together? No, that's her new husband. Whenever I hear Seal, I think of uh, you know his famous song, Kiss from a Rose. Baby, I compare you to a kiss from a rose. Or no. I haven't heard that one. Have you heard of, uh, wait, yours might have been, because Kiss is, obviously wouldn't have been I can't to you. listen to Kiss. Mm -hmm. You haven't had your first one yet. I can listen to Smooch, but not Kiss. Yeah. <laughs> Heidi Klum should. Holy Kiss from the Rose. Yeah, that one, that one's really good. Mm -hmm. Did Heidi Klum ever dress up as a seal? Because that's a no-brainer. Mm -hmm. Well, seal's black. Well, not... Like a seal the animal, like a slippery, oh, slimy se seal. The she should have. Yeah. Yeah. And then what would seal. seal actually seal have been? A you, whaler? <laughs> what would he have been? What would he Water, have been? Water, the ocean. Great. Fully mm -hmm. envelops her. Yeah. Or he could have been Adam Sandler in 50 First Dates. There's a costume idea. Bingo. Yes. Or he could have been climate change. <laughs> and, and the seal the slowly night, dies. Seal dies. He throws himself off, to, off a cliff because it has poor vision. But Kiss from a Rose was a song I sang in my early performing years, the little cover, and it's a tricky song to sing, and I just butchered it. Dang it. In front uh -huh. of 11 people. Is Dang there, is there it. In the YouTube basement video of a there? wine bar. <laughs> no, my mom sent me some old video. Ooh, let's see if I can find that. I probably can't, but uh, my mom, even that night, she, oh my gosh, it's so amazing, so amazing. And like, how did I do? She's like, well, Kiss from a Rose maybe was the only one that <laughs> oh, maybe no. needed a little. <laughs> oh, no. I was like, that's how you know it's bad. <clears throat> I think I might be able to find something. I'll 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 send it over to Derek if so. But oh, I found some stuff. Not ooh, yep. Is this? <laughs> I could barely hear enough. <laughs> That's actually not a a seal song, but I'll I'll shoot over to Derek. He can get it queued up. Little early that, uh, tray. Halo Beyonce. That oh, I heard? he knows the oh. stuff. Barely hear it now. Halo in a sheltered household. Oh, people, when that was charred in the tops, I've, I'm, shelter parents were so grateful. Yeah, I can see your halo. Clean fun. Great. Halo. 
Great. Mm -hmm. Great. Great. Um, Do you want to watch it now? Okay. Oh, we got it ready? Check this out, people. I'm, I'm in the basement of a wine bar. <laughs> you can hear it really well, huh? That's Alan on the keys. Let's go. Day one. There we go. This is for my truck drivers. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we're really belting. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Just a chill wine bar. <laughs> All right, that's enough. I mean, that, that was, was great. My, it did sound pretty good. That was my problem as a performer. Looking back, it's very embarrassing. It's because we were like, yeah, man, let's try to do some gigs. So we'd hit people up in this coffee shop and be like, yeah, we'll pay you a hundred bucks to like play in the corner. Yeah. Probably expecting like just light like coffee shop vibes. Banana we like, pancakes. We were like, yeah, Halo. Yeah. <laughs> Baby, I can pay you to a kiss from a road. <laughs> just like trying to have a latte on a Saturday morning. They're like, this is not what we paid for. Like, what's the hardest? I'm going to sing some Adele, I think. <laughs> yeah. Some Beyonce. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Oh, yeah, we do some JT even. <laughs> Riding in my drop top with the top down, let you switch and leave. Yeah, probably not the vibe they were going for. But. <laughs> no. And, and it's like, what an unawareness looking back on it. Oh, I would have loved to have seen Alan's outfit performing too. I'm sure it would have been great. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's that's so embarrassing. Because we would like try to fill the place too. Like, come on out, we're performing. Like, this isn't a concert. We're just, we're hoping you can play pleasant music while our guests <laughs> have a dinner. <laughs> That is a fight they need to invite friends to. Mm -hmm. Hey, if you're 21 and over, uh, I'm going to be playing at this wine bar. Yeah. Let me see. Pretty chill vibe. So I remember them being like, well, yeah, we'll pay 150 bucks to do this. I was like, oh. Dang. Dang, 75 each, dude? Me and Alan? <laughs> How many hours? There. I think it was like two hours or something. Pretty good hourly in sad. college, yeah. Come on. That's funny. Uh, okay. We, what What else? We, ooh, Jake, you have a you have a gym you found. Oh yeah, I need to find this. I want to. I want to talk about this. Actually, I may not need to find it. So basically, this morning I woke up and one of the things I saw on my Facebook was uh, someone that I don't know, which is very typical for Facebook. You're like, why is this at the top of my right. feed? I don't even know who this person is. But they were complaining about a Facebook group that it has been existing for a while. I didn't know about it, but it's a Facebook group about like um, Stratford schools. Uh, you know being in God's hands or something like that. Oh, yeah, I think you said putting Stratford schools in God's hands. So that's that's the name of the Facebook group. Great, great group. Probably great intentions does, with the group. Does God have hands? <laughs> uh, do, yeah. Pause. Do we know, like, Stratford school? Is that, like, a school I should know? Or, like, is that a school you know? See, I told you she doesn't pay attention to the content. She, she doesn't watch the videos. She, she doesn't, doesn't watch. Just so y'all are clued in. She's never listen, she doesn't listen to the podcast or watch my videos. So Jake... By the way, this is Jay. He's worked with me for four years. Oh, so nice to meet you. <laughs> He's I mean, from... You're like always around. I just like don't know why. <laughs> you're always touching my <laughs> belly. Yeah, you know, I like. just can't really figure it out, but glad to know what that. Is it? Yeah. Uh, he's from Stratford. Which, you know, he said... Check the Wikipedia I, page. I, he I also did. said that in his comedy set every night that you watch for 90 shows. Okay. Yes. A pregnancy brain. <laughs> pregnancy brain. Pregnancy brain. I see. I'm sorry. It's fine. Mm-hmm. Yep. So that's why <laughs> I know about it. It's my hometown. Love I my see, hometown. I see. Okay. Probably okay. love the people who made this group. Nothing against them. But <coughs> the group is just a little funny for a couple of reasons. One, they will put up like these, because I, I didn't know about the group. So I just kind of dove in. I was like, what do we, what do we have here? It seems like every day they will put up a new status update and it's a prayer. Kind of fun. It's very like old, you know, probably boomer slash like just like farm town type, like social media. Really fun. Um, and it's a different prayer, but the the prayer is more or less just like life updates. And the updates are really about just like the Stratford sports teams. So it's like, God, you know that Stratford is six and two and they're facing a tough, pleasant hope defense tonight. Mm -hmm. Please be with them as they try to beat the cover two. And uh, also with our volleyball girls. We have a tough match against Hillcrest. So it's just it's funny, <laughs> like what the status looks like. And then this one, for instance, has 18 comments. 
And every single comment just says, amen, 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 amen. <laughs> it's this beautiful community. Virtual parade, yes. Yeah, and everyone feels like they need to say amen. Uh, but my favorite part is that I was looking at the status today, and it was something that was like, uh, we pray that, uh, you know, as the volleyball girls' season is over, which you know, God, you were a setter with those hands of yours. Um, <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. I made that part up. But, uh, <laughs> no, no, but it was like... You spiked like, your love into our hearts. <laughs> Basically, the part that was so like, what? So our, my hometown, Stratford, the nickname for them is the Indian, the Stratford Indians. That's who I played for, yada, mm-hmm. yada. They're still the Indians, and they're taking a little far on this page because they go, it was their last night on the reservation. They will never be back. <laughs> and everyone's like, ah, you know, we're called the Indians, but I don't think we need to push the envelope any more than what we're already pushing like, it. Amen. <laughs> <laughs> like just fully diving into this like Native American like culture, which we do not share like what's, in any way. What's beautiful about this day and age is like what we deal with. Like we hope people like this podcast. Every person deals like the boomers in that group. They're like. I got 19 amens on that one. <laughs> that was pretty good. And someone's like, I hope that, and it's just like, they do this, try to do this reservation symbolism and it just, they get two amens and they know it's from the two people. They always give amens. I mean, they <laughs> don't even count. Yeah. Uh, and, you know, they get a couple like question marks and they're like, Oh no, what did I do? That's really funny. So we're trying to do like, a, a, you know, as we are the Indians and we leave the reservation, we just pray that you would uh, keep us safe. Like a teepee. And the people say, like, okay, cut it out, cut it out. Not our culture. They're going to be taking off their jerseys <clears throat> and their proverbial knapsacks mm-hmm. for the last time. And as they, <laughs> oh, we love, we're, we can't stop laughing that one time. Natalie took that one spike right to the headdress. <laughs> uh, be with them. You think, uh, yikes. Man, yeah, that's so. How many amens on that post? Uh, so. It seems like we have a very... I'm noticing a lot of the same profile pictures, and just the names are great. Barbara, Judy, Cheryl, Debbie, Jeanette. Perfect. Betsy, Perfect. Tina. Betsy. Yeah. Not a lot yeah. of uh, walks with wolves. <laughs> you know, I don't... Uh, I, didn't, I didn't want to assume that none of them are Native American, but context clues and... Looks like the the best one I found so far is five days ago. They they got twenty nine amens. So that's not wow. bad. That's pretty yeah. good wow. for them. That's, pretty that's good. a crazy ratio. How many people yeah. are in this group? Looks like we got about two thousand. Wow, which that's is a pretty good ratio. That's, engagement. that's a great engagement rate. So I'm trying to think. I have forty thousand followers on Instagram, and I've never got more than one amen on a post. Yeah, so, yeah, I mean, yeah they're yeah. doing a really good job. Hmm. Um, that's a crushing post. Could you read us that prayer, please? That that crushed. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm twenty. I mean, twenty nine amens. I think we could. I think we'd all agree. We'd like to add a few more to that. Um, this is from Barbara, or this is we don't know. It's just from the page itself. So this might not uh, be a group. Mm-hmm. I, I guess it's more of a page. Mm. Um, oh, this is great. A lot of prayers for the for the bus drivers. So that's great. That's oh smart. Gosh, you the got stars it. are aligning. If you want to be any kind of <gasps> brain in the digital media space, you have to be catering to bus and truck drivers these days. Yes. You just have to be. Yes, you have to be. Um, yeah, it says like, God, we pray you surround each bus with your protection, safety. Uh, the bus drivers, they've had a busy week. They're going to tally hundreds of extra miles and many hours on the road. Um, praying for safety, endurance for the drivers, no mechanical problems. Um, it really is. I, I scroll down more. Uh, all the drivers arrange the buses, make reservations, complete the schedules. Really, this is a logistics prayer. I think this is, uh, <laughs> this one's mainly, a, which, Hey, you can pray for anything. I mean, I mean, I'd be lying if I said I never said a prayer for our bus drivers on tour. <laughs> they need them. That's Please true. drive a little slower and <laughs> yeah. beautiful. Yeah, it's all wow. it's all God's great. Real. It's it's very fun. I just thought it was funny. It really the main thing that caught my attention was like they threw in the word reservation on a prayer. Mm-hmm. And I was like, I don't know. We're not actual Native Americans, yeah. so maybe let's let's not do that. <laughs> and it won't be long. We probably won't have that name for too much longer. But they're trying to milk it while they can. Yeah, Katie, your high school mascot was also the Indians. Oh, fun! Have Derek, they changed? Derek, what was your high school? Nope. My middle school mas- mascot was the Indians as well. Wow! But wow. it was in an area close to a reservation. Oh, wow. I'll take so, that. I'll take that. I see. Egg on my face. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, ours yeah. was not. Yeah. Interesting. Yeah, I grew up in Oklahoma, like one of a great place of Nar- Native American heritage. Not not me. I went wild ta- wildcats, tigers, bulldogs. Okay, cat, cat, dog. Cat, cat, dog. Yeah, what about that's nice. you? You went. I went just uh, human male, human male, human male. 
Mm. Native American, Native American, Native American. <laughs> oh, it was, oh, is there still one school? Yeah. So Stratford Elementary, Stratford Middle, Stratford High. Right. Oh, I and mean, the triplet household. Yes. Which were also... Uh, gremlins. <laughs> or whatever, goblins. <laughs> <laughs> what are you... Yeah, I went from a warrior okay. to a knight to an Indian. Very violent, huh? <laughs> okay. Wow. Yeah, combative. Yeah. Mm. Mm. Yep. Oh, that's why that's why that pregnancy brain's got you. It's so vicious. <laughs> mm-hmm. Katie's like, I went from a warrior to a knight to a um, guillotine. <laughs> <laughs> to the Dahmers. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I went wildcat to tiger to bulldog. It really just, I've softened. As the times come, you on. have spots often, yeah. yes, yes. And then you went cowboy, cowboy, yeah, right, yeah. cowboy. And then I went influencer, yeah, it's got really S- soft. <laughs> <laughs> well, then you went grad school cowboy, yeah, which is a little different form of a cowboy. Yeah, yeah, true, that's a, <laughs> it's like it's not like the the guys in the barracks. I've kind of graduated. You seen Yellowstone? I'm, You're I, like I was Rip. Rip. I'm yeah. me and Rip, <laughs> me and Rip, same guy. <laughs> Same guy. What is he yeah, doing? Is he yeah. kind of managing the Cowboys? He's in the managing show? the yes, Cowboys. He, he apparently is extremely well trained in mixed martial arts because he absolutely pummels anyone who crosses him. Uh-huh. Yep. Uh huh. Yep. Even if they're the same size as him. Congratulations. So uh, he murders people. Yes. He mm-hmm. he throws their bodies in um, uninhabited parts of the country. Mm-hmm. Um, and he's entertaining. Yeah. And, and he that that was you. And his name is Rip. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Cool. Very cool. Very cool. <laughs> let's do. Uh, okay, let's talk about one more thing for this segment. I'm excited about. Uh, Kyrie Irving, you following this? Uh, Duke basketball player. Yeah. Yeah, a heck of a ball player. Kyrie, the we have this weird. I don't know what's going on with. Uh, you've got Kanye, Antonio Brown, Kyrie. They and they though these guys. Antonio Brown changed his profile picture to Kyrie's face. Oh, to and su- like support him, I guess. I I don't know. They're just like doing a funny like. I guess there's got to be one crazy person for each sport or <laughs> art form. But Kyrie, for the ladies, Katie, have you heard of this name? I know the name. That's about all. He was a great. What's interesting? Shout out Kyrie. He, I, he was one of the first famous people to like hit me up or follow me. I'm like this. Is Oh, really? Yeah, pretty cool. Was he? And he, then he believed the fl- earth was flat. I would say he was one of the first mainstream flat earthers, I feel like, too. Like, so A-list mm. flat earthers. You know, this is like, he's, he's a young, up-and-coming basketball player. Like, Kyrie's the best. And, like, I'm a flat earther. And you're kind of like, okay, well, man, he could shoot that hoop, though. All right. Well, it's still fun to watch him play. <clears throat> and then, oh, uh, and he was a huge anti-vax guy. Um, oh, so, and th- that was a whole deal where, okay, like, yeah. the state of New... Like, so he was, like, banned from playing from, like, certain states. Yeah. And he toughed it out um and you know whatever just a controversial guy he's making some people happy and then he's gone more and more into like he was saging the court before a game mm. and apparently he has like he's kind of got a tie i think he's like part native american you know a small he's a black man but i guess you know like i'm one percent something I, so then he started like doing like something with that i'm really trying to be respectful here <coughs> i hope i'm saying everything you know Double check me. And then he's like, he posts crazy stuff on Instagram of like, he's just a very artsy, unique, unique guy. And yeah. now the latest one, I guess he posted some cl- like just a quick post of like uh, some movie, which I guess is a movie that's anti Semitic. And this is right when Kanye said all his anti Semitic stuff. Mm. And then it's interesting that someone could get funding for a movie, especially in this day and age. I and know. you could go through the entire, like, you could get a cast of people who want to work on a movie. And then you get people to edit a movie that would have, like, I don't know, a hateful message to it. And yeah, people are like, that's yeah, let's, shocking. let's promote this. This will have, you know, we're willing to work with the backlash. I don't know. I just, it's shocking that a movie could even exist like that. And it's even more shocking that Kyrie Irving's like, I endorse this. I think the movie is making an argument. Again, I haven't watched it or looked, but I, I, that's, I guess the movie's making an argument that the ch- God's chosen people, the Jewish people, were actually black. But I guess there's some anti-Semitic stuff involved with that, but I don't know. But it, the funniest this? part is, like, there'd just be interviews. It'd be like, Kanye, um, we just, this is some concerns here. We just want to know, are you anti-Semitic? Kyrie, right? Yeah, yeah. Kyrie, sorry. Yeah. And they just put a mic in his phone. Are you anti-Semitic? And instead of just going, no, he'd be like, you know, I'm 
I, I've said it. I've said it once. I've said it again. I'm not going to apologize from where I'm from. That's kind like, of so, it's like, dude, dude, just just say no. <laughs> I'm not anti-Semitic. But he's, I guess he's kind of. He clearly is. Well, I don't, I, I don't know we about don't know. that. We but don't know. He's okay. just like he hasn't st- stated. He's just that. doing a very poor PR job of like. But then it got so worse, and it kept piling up that now I think he's been suspended, and he finally did do the public apology, and but now it's a whole ordeal of like, oh, or we just like, I don't know. He sounds it's like a wild. lot of. But he's been a very. But it's funny, like Charles very... Barkley and Shaq, those be like, this guy's an idiot. They were saying on their TNT show. It kind of Very reminds me of when, uh, like, <clears throat> Donald Trump back in the day would be like, "All right, Donald, do you condemn white supremacy?" And he wouldn't just like yeah. say it. He'd be like, like well, "Well, well." It's like, dude, you're running. Are for- they truck drivers? <laughs> <laughs> no, yeah, I know. It's like just it feels. Just say the quick, and I get he's got mics in his face all the time, just like a puppet. We want you to say this, so maybe that could get annoying. But you know, it's like it just. just yes or no? no? Yes or no? Yeah, I pulled up. This is and the announcer, the uh, the interviewer, literally said that he goes, "We're just looking for a yes or no." I mean, he's just <laughs> he's just trying to help. Just yeah. come on, yeah, just give us a no, so we can write a headline that says Kyrie condemns. confirmed. Yeah, not anti-Semitic. The uh, I think it was the team. He's on the the Brooklyn Nets, and they came out with a list of things he has to do, which is like kind of the first of its kind. I don't remember. Yeah. Like, I've never seen like a sports team be like. <clears throat> Hey, you want to get back on the team? You got to do these like off the field things, off the court things. So it was like apologize and condemn the film he promoted. Make a half a million dollar donation to anti-hate causes. I want to get that in writing. I mean, anti-hate causes. You can do whatever you want. Uh, complete sensitivity training. Complete anti-Semitism training. Which like, do the Brooklyn Nets have that on hand? Or like, are they going to outsource that? <laughs> the, the, the thought... Of like train, I'm sure it's more complex. I think the thought of training, they're just like, all right, we're gonna show you a series of images. Let's just train you on this, and they just show like a black person. He's like, yeah, and they're like white person, and they're cool, and they're like Jewish person. He's like, no, they're like okay, well, we got some work to do. This is what we're here to work. We're on. gonna show you. Here's another one. <laughs> don't scream. <laughs> like what? <laughs> what is the training? I I mean like, I don't know. It sounds like a workplace, like a lame, like oh Thursday we have like you know like office. You know, like HR training. Even that training, they're like, "Here's how to not uh, sexually assault your coworkers." I was mm-hmm. like, "Okay, who needs training on this?" Yeah. Um, he's also he has to meet with Jewish leaders. Also seems very vague. Like uh, coffee? Uh, how long? Ten minutes? He hour? actually meet. He actually just has to meet with his accountant face to face. He's got to just like, yeah, he got to take him out to dinner or like, I don't know, meet with team owner. To demonstrate an understanding of the situation. That's the last bullet point. So that's like after you've done all these things, then he has to meet with the owner and the owner gets to say, I think you have done a good job. I think you are. Yeah. You are now pro Jewish enough to be on the team. Mm. Like what is what is this owner? Why is the owner in any position to like determine how how anti like Jew? I don't know. Whatever. <laughs> it's so complicated. messy. It doesn't matter to me, but it is just so funny that I don't know. They're making him do all this. I guess that, well, an added wrinkle is uh, the commissioner. What's his name? Stern? So, no, it's a new. Oh, yeah. That was, uh, yeah what is his name? Silver. Adam Silver. Adam Silver. He's yeah. Jewish. Oh, okay. I didn't even knew that. Oh. I didn't either tell all this. They're like, I mean, the guy running the league's Jewish. I mean, he's, he can't. Huh. I mean, hopefully, it just seems like with Kyrie Irving, it's, if not this, it's going to be something else. Yeah, I feel like he just he loves seems, making yeah. waves. And like, he's For probably sure. not even like, hateful towards like jewish people he probably just loves just like stirring stuff up like yeah. he probably didn't even know it was anti-semitic what he's posting and now he's just in the news and he kind of likes it yeah <clears throat> wild times meet with the owner that's mm-hmm. funny it's like <clears throat> it's like he's a kid who's gotten in trouble and he's like done this a few times now it's like all right spanking's not working mm-hmm. <laughs> we're gonna have we to need do something a full-fledged else. yeah, yeah development program uh okay spanking didn't work why don't you donate half a million dollars Okay. To anti-hate causes. That should make you less hateful. Are there pro-hate causes? <laughs> <laughs> like, no, Kyrie, you did it wrong. He somehow tracked down this organization that is, well, they have a lot of support, and they are just taking toys away from kids. Yeah, how did they? Yeah. Is there a movie about that he can yeah. tweet out? He it's, finds a documentary. It's called The Grinch. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's just so I, funny to think, like, once you donate money, that should get the hate out of your system. I'm sure it's not yeah. deep-rooted yeah. enough. yeah. You donated away. We trained them. 
We gave it's us money. It's very corporate. Like one time right? I got yeah. in trouble at my job. For McDonald's Gold Shores. Not really my Weird fault, segue. but I was given a list of things I had to complete before What'd I What did you get in trouble for? This is... Well... <laughs> Do you know what the term embezzling means? Yeah. <laughs> a little bit of fraud mixed in there. Um, I used to work at hospitals and I didn't have the correct badge. However, oh. um, it was something that everyone did and i just was the one person who got called out okay little yeah i literally couldn't even do my job without getting into these areas and they weren't letting me like it was all very messed it's okay, up it's okay let's, <laughs> let's get him on the phone let's get him on the podcast but in order to you know reinstate me being able to go to this hospital i had to do this like yeah list of training and a presentation badge and training all this stuff and i'm like Okay. I mean, it's just so, yeah, like that. It's like, that's not going to, that's not going to change anything. I yeah. did all these things just because I had to. Yeah. Kyrie Irving is going to be the same person as he was before as he was afterwards. Yeah. If you don't want him on the team, kick him off the team. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Love our Jewish Why am listeners. I not an NBA owner? Yeah, seriously. It, well, You would do it so much better. It's how you, NBA owner and then president. You got to like. Oh, you're right. Yeah. yeah. So. I got steps. Really, yep. it's not up to me. It's up to the truck drivers. The truck drivers, <laughs> they can't watch the game while they drive. <laughs> but they can listen. Uh, okay, let's do a segment. Uh, this is going to be a new segment, I think. Uh, we're going to wrap up with this. It, the segment's called Who Won the Fight? Uh, Katie and I, we're going to discuss a recent disagreement. And then Jake, as you know, the expert he is, will tell us where we need to land. Because we just can't get to the bottom of this. So, uh, Katie, would you like to cue this up? Um, I'm going to let you. So we have a child coming, which I've learned, I guess he needs his own freaking room. Ah, room was the fifth one. <laughs> yeah. Oh, Not that's iPad. What it was. Yeah. So of course we're uh, prepping this room. Going to be the nursery. Um, I get it, ladies. You want the nursery to be nice and cute. <laughs> and uh, we have this nice room. So yeah, let's, let's throw, obviously get a crib, maybe some art on the walls. Oh, is this the, the treadmill room? Yeah, no longer. Yeah, no longer, treadmills yes. got out of there. Yeah. Had a great name. Right, right. the treadmill room. <laughs> now the nursery. Uh, so my understanding was, yeah, maybe throw down a, a little rug. Got to get a chair for her to like sit and hold the baby. The crib, maybe a little storage. Boom. And she comes at me one day. She's like, "What do you think about this look for the nursery?" I mean, we're talking new, new, wallpaper. We're bringing wallpaper into this out of nowhere. Mm-hmm. We're like this whole. Mm-hmm. And I go, well, I don't. Why? I just can't understand why it was a guest bedroom. Now it's a nursery and we, there has to be a whole new look to this. Mm -hmm. And I think that is not necessary. Katie. Okay. Well, we taking notes during this. Yeah. I mean, just curious when you were a child, I mean, you already hear the tone, right? (laughs) (laughs) I I want to point that out. I was very, I brought my stuff. You know, to the table very <laughs> kindly, respectfully. I just wanted to point that out. Jake, Jake jot that down. Jake, jot, go ahead. Jot, jot, jot. Um, yeah, I mean, so I'm really excited about this baby, and I wanted to have a very... She's gaslighting you. Excited about the baby. A right very... Um, She's gaslighting the audience. <clears throat> I, I guess my excitement's nice... just a little more. So <laughs> Yeah, I guess I'm more excited than him. Okay, and... what were you saying? Sorry. Um, I just want him to have a nice space that he can grow into and that we will spend time in and it will, we will enjoy and we will hopefully have more children. So I'm thinking like might as well do go ahead and do something that I really like and it can be used by many. And so okay. bo- bottom line is that we the top, um, the have top. come to the conclusion Jeez. we're going to do like bottom a line, surprise at home makeover. the conclusion makeover. at the end of the day. Mm-hmm. Show oh, real quick. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Sh- could you show you show me that image of like what do you think of this look? Could we? Could you please? Could you airdrop that to Derek, please? He's going to show it because it's just, I, you raised some the, interesting points. Just and the I, wallpaper, or what do you want me to show? You showed me that one photo. It was like wallpaper with a crib, and you're like, what do you think of like this look? Could, I would love for the people to see this because you bring up some interesting points, and I think it'd be helpful um, to the whole overall case for for us to get eyes on this. I would also like to what I was going to say originally, but you know, is that like, didn't you feel really cared for when your parents were like, let's make your room special. And didn't you feel cared for? 
Did they? Well, what do you mean? You didn't grow up with me. You know what they said. <laughs> I know that they let you paint your. Ro- I know that they let you paint your room bright orange. Girl, you ain't my sister. <laughs> yeah. Are you my sister? <laughs> you don't know how I grew up. You don't know me. <laughs> I know they let you paint your room bright orange. So that showed a lot of care. <laughs> yeah, when I was twelve. Go pokes. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. So. Seriously, go poke. I mean, it was heinous. Can you find okay. it? Um. This is interesting. So I'm excited to see this. I mean, the argument that I chose the look of my room when I was 12 is kind of, I don't see how that helps us. Yeah, they didn't get jotted down. Don't okay. worry. <laughs> <laughs> don't worry. <clears throat> Katie, oh, I have I, I have two questions for you. I know okay. you're really deep searching your photos yeah. for a wallpaper picture. It was picture. a screenshot, so I mean. Also, my photos won't like turn they won't pregnancy go from brain. Where is it? They won't go from pregnancy spot. phone. <laughs> pregnancy brain. I mean, she's having to scroll sideways. <laughs> it won't. Phone right I have tried to unlock it and lock it and close it down. And <laughs> Katie's like, "This is this is so hard having to scroll this way." Okay. <laughs> We've got to see it. We've got to see it. It really is. Here. Okay, I'm gonna screenshot the crib and the wallpaper. Okay, she's got it. What, what were you saying, Jake? All right, Katie, I have two questions for you. Uh-huh. One. Like, how long do you anticipate, like, the the theme that you're wanting to create in that room, mm-hmm. how long are you wanting it to stay like that? Well, the wallpaper I chose could be used for a variety. It's not, like, necessarily a nursery wallpaper. So, like, any type of room that that would become, I think it could be applicable. It can be a boy or a girl room. Yes, definitely. Up until what age? Their whole life. Okay. It's just timeless, huh? Yeah. It's a timeless the, the, wallpaper. Chose two timeless I, I wallpapers. Chose gender time, neutral, timeless I, wallpapers. And let me, let's, let's take a look. It is right, gender new, neutral, timeless. Let's take a look. Yeah. Okay. This is perfect timing. I oh, mean. Okay. I, it's okay. That is, that is exactly what we described. I, I will say I was imagining like light blue, like birds or yeah, something. Yeah. And this is like, it's, it's black and white. <laughs> and it's trees. I mean, how, but I like, mean, I mean, yeah, I, Listen, there's no debating that like it's cool and stuff. I mean, we could we could show all day long a bunch of cool stuff that mm-hmm. we don't need to buy. Mm-hmm. I just don't. Why does the nursery that's a fine lit room need mm-hmm. to have this um, high end, beautiful, mm-hmm. gender neutral, timeless <laughs> wallpaper? Which leads well, me to my next question. Three year old will be like, "Mommy, mommy, look at the beautiful." So, so he can lay in his. Did crib. you find this on Quay and Bello? <laughs> lay in his bed and he'll just he's be, gonna be picking his boogers he's gonna be and wiping them trees. on the wallpaper it's wall it's gonna inspire him to want to be outdoors it's gonna be a booger wall <laughs> it's already been oh bought. yeah it's already been bought you have a booger so. spot a booger spot you ever dude i remember you had a ew i didn't oh. but i remember <laughs> vividly going to my young buddy's house and discovering his booger <gasps> spot oh. ew. it's real yeah jake you're awfully yeah. quiet <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Hold on, I have a second question for Katie. <laughs> Katie, who, if you were to get this, if you were to spend all the time, the money to put this on the wall, mm-hmm. who is it for? Is it for the kid? Is it for you? Or is it for people when they come to your house and they say, oh, that's a cute nursery? It is for me. It's mm-hmm. for you. I don't think that was even one of the options. <laughs> it was. Oh, it was the second option. It is for me when I'm sitting in that room at... 3 a.m., 4 a.m., 5 a.m. Appeal to emotion. Object. With a, with a <laughs> crying baby. But I'm like, you know, this is so Funneling. lovely to look at. And I just feel really nice in this room, even though I haven't slept in days. And, you know. So why didn't we... Here, here's another interesting point, Your Honor. Why, <laughs> when we fully renovated this house two years ago, uh-huh. and we knew it would be a guest room and then a nursery, mm-hmm. why wasn't this thought of then? Respectfully. <laughs> Respectfully, I just found this mural recently. <laughs> Is this the one you already bought? Yes. What? <laughs> Bingo. <laughs> there it is. So what's your what's your uh, conclusion? I mean, it sounds like what, what's done is done. Uh, you got yourself a new wow. wallpaper. I hope Great you like segment. it. Yeah. <laughs> There's a there's gonna be a twist every time. This yeah, that'll be a segment. Twist. a great segment. I bought it six months ago. Wow. Okay. <laughs> that's getting applied soon, or? Yeah, I'm gonna have to hire someone to apply that because I sure will not. Is you wallpaper hard to apply? Anyone done that? I've never done it. Oh. I just feels think the, like the I feel like we'll screw it up too, where like you have to line everything yeah. up. I yeah. I wouldn't want to do it. 
I, you know what I hire is those people who work at T-Mobile who will put your phone like screen protector on for you. They oh. get all the air bubbles out. They'd be great at wallpaper. I, I talk about a job I could never have. The anxiety when I do mine. I can't do it. And they do it multiple times a day. Yeah. Experts. The pressure. Wizards. So mm -hmm. truck drivers and screen protector appliers. This is who our podcast is for. Backbone of the country. Thanks mm -hmm. y'all for listening. Um, we'll Corpus Christi this weekend. See you there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, thanks for all the love. Like, subscribe, share, all that good stuff. Peace. Correct opinion.